Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Monica and in today's video I'm going to show you how I cleaned up my patio and gave it a little bit of a makeover. I was so excited about this because it was something a little bit different for me. I was going with more of a boho style and of course I had to add the sand and the seashells as well. But I loved how this turned out. It was so cute. And if you are looking for some patio ideas, I hope that you stay tuned and watch this video. And let's just go ahead and get right into it. Before I get started, I just want to quickly show you what my backyard looks like. I have been asked by several of my subscribers to show my backyard and give a mini tour. So I'm just going to kind of show you what it looks like right now. And of course, I'm a hockey mom. Every hockey mom has this in their backyard. It's a given and it's not going anywhere. So that is going to stay put. And this is just a little fire pit that my husband and I had put together. And then I have my beautiful roses and my jasmine that is blooming right here on the side of the wall on the side of the pool and um, if you follow me on instagram i have posted several mini videos in my stories with my roses and how they've been doing so well these are iceberg roses i'm going to show you a closer look here in just a second but what i did this year in february i cut them down pretty much all the way down to the ground and they grew so much better with so many more blooms and I highly recommend that. I was told Super Bowl is when you're supposed to cut your roses down. I thought it was kind of weird, but that's what I did and they are just absolutely stunning. And then I'm just going to kind of pan out and show you the rest of my yard before I get started. a place I have found in the shade on the ground far from a worries and troubling sound when I go there to be by myself only me no one can guess what I came there to see there's a sun in the sky Someone waving at me I hope that it's you But who else could it be? I guess so I really want to get this patio cleaned up before I start decorating So I'm just going to start by putting the chairs away And then I'm going to put some other items away And just get them out of my way Because I will be taking that leaf blower And clearing off this patio area it didn't pick up everything and kind of clean it as well as I wanted to, wanted it to. So I took the hose and I hosed off the back patio as well. And then when I tried to move this rug here, it just kind of ripped apart. So I ended up throwing that away. And I took the rug that was on my front porch and I moved it to the back porch. And all of the items that I used that are new, I will leave links for you. I didn't go to any stores to buy anything. I ordered everything off of Amazon and they were very reasonably priced. So it is budget friendly. I got this patio set 
from, I want to say it was Lowe's last summer. If I can find the patio set, I will link it below. I'm not sure if they sell it this year. So I got the gazebo and this sectional at Lowe's. I want to say it was Lowe's. It was either Lowe's or Home Depot, but I will try to find that for you and leave links for you. And then later on in the video, you will see that I also have some patio lights and I got those at Walmart. I will try my hardest to find links for everything and leave them in my description box. So here's a closer look at those patio lights that I was talking about earlier. I did purchase these at Walmart. I believe that when I purchased them, they were on clearance last summer. I want to say it was like under $5 a box and I used two boxes for this gazebo here and I just have them strung up. They do have little clips to make it easy if um, you want to hang them up and they're just beautiful. They're subtle and I love them and you will see later on in the video what they look like when the sun goes down. Okay, so I really wanted to hang some fern-like plants along this gazebo. It's really, really hard to keep things alive during the summertime. So I purchased all of these from Amazon. I was not happy with the greenery. It just felt really, really fake. It looked nothing like the photo. I will link them just in case you are interested, but just be warned, they are not as full as they look in the photo, and I should have known better because they are priced very, very low. Um, but they're not supposed to fade in the sun or anything. And I thought they did look pretty cute hanging up here. I might get tired of them later and put something else in them. Maybe some succulents. Succulents would look really pretty in these pots. Um, I purchased the pots at Lowe's, I believe. And then those really pretty macrame hangers. They're so adorable. And it really gave that boho feel. I also purchased some super cute pillow covers and some citronella candles off of Amazon. I am so happy with that bee pillow. It is so cute and the quality was actually a lot better than I thought it would be. And then these really pretty cream colored pillow covers with the tassels. I loved the tassels on there that gave that little bohemian style feel to them. And then I also purchased these blue it's like a navy blue with that little fringe on there which also gave that boho style feel and I love the way all these colors look together and then I also got these citronella candles they came in pack a pack of three the print on there is more of an Asian style and I did not notice that when I purchased them but they look pretty and with the blue in there I thought they looked fine and I love citronella candles. I actually like the way they smell. I know some people just can't stand that smell, but they keep the bugs away. And um, I love the way any type of candlelight looks outside.
So for this tray here, I really wanted to add something other than just a candle. I originally was going to add all three candles in this tray, but I felt like it would be too much. So I went back inside and I had some leftover sand and shells from decorating the inside of my house. And I thought they would look really cute out here. I was going to put both of these candles in here and it just didn't look right. So I ended up taking one out and just staying with the one candle. Later on, I was looking at this and thought succulents would look really pretty in here. So I went ahead and added some succulents. You won't see that in this video, but succulents always give that boho style feel. I think that succulents and um, any type of fringe looking fabrics like the pillow, the navy pillows that I showed you or with the tassels and even like anything macrame style that all gives that boho style feel if that's what you're going for. that is it for today's video I hope that you all enjoyed it if you did I would love it if you left me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I hope you guys all have an amazing day I will see you in the next one bye